All right, next. Let's have some fun. We are going to pull out the cartoon brushes. All right, let's do this. One, two. Now, as we are thickening things up, we might have to modify a tiny bit. I'm going to go fat on both edges with those. Let's go one, two. Fat on both ends. Let me zoom in so you guys can see the brushes kind of happening. All these are fat on both ends right now. And anytime you see where there's not an overlapped edge, you want to make sure that you're kind of bringing those out. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but that's okay. I don't know if you guys can tell that the back shoulder connected to it. So, not a big idea. All that's going to get silhouetted out. Basically, it's going to go black so it's not that big of a deal all right i want that to be tapered on both ends let's go two and just see what that looks like i'm okay with that i want this to be tapered go fat in the middle let's go one two same thing here one two I want fat on both ends Let's do the same here. Uh, I want this to be fat on the bottom. And if you can, you might be able to tell, is there might be a little bit of a color change. That's not that big of a deal. We'll just color and change those later. Let's go fat on both ends. And just in case this is your very first time with us, what we're basically looking for is anytime there is a edge or a line that's basically floating out in space, that's a good signal for it to be tapered. So both of those corners should be tapered. And also when you guys start to add on the thickness of things, you might want to just kind of come back in and you can modify these at all. All right, fat, skinny over here. If you don't have the right one, that's why we build two of them. Uh, let's do this. I want to go scissor. Let's go scissor down here. So now I'm going to go fat on both ends. Make sure it's selected. I uh, said so we could shrink that one down. Good. Keep it going. Skinny on both ends. Looks good. Let's go fat on both ends. Skinny. And it's going to go fat over here. And I'm just totally just guessing and checking. Ooh. Okay, fat over here. Skinny right there. Oh, I got it on that one. Uh, let's drop that down. Uh, totally up to you guys. Let's go fat on both ends. I say fat on both ends. Keep in mind, you guys could also do just the basic line as well. So that would always be acceptable. I want this one to be skinny, fat up here. I am going to come down and snip 
right there. Reasons for it is when I start to add on the thickness, I want that fat to be closer to that line right there. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm just going two with all of those. I might even do this with these. Let's just flip them. Okay, I want fat here, skinny over here. Perfect. Let's go two. Just see what that looks like. We can always modify this, by the way. And then also, you'll kind of be able to tell that we kind of get the line down, and then we might modify it with a scissor. And that's just so the fattest part is where we want it. Okay. I just want to have that extended out a little bit more. Oh, decisions, decisions. I say... Oh, I missed one. All right, so that one's going to be tapered. Check. These guys are all going to be the same. You can always get those bigger. Uh, all right, so here's the decision. If we want the wrist to go in front, I am going to say no. So those are both going to go fat on both ends. which means I want this to be fat by the thumb, and then I want that to be tapered down by the wrist. Flip it. Ah, go figure. Go, ah, that one. All right, I'm gonna go skinny on that one. I want there to be a little bit more weight down there. Alright, all we're doing is just double checking things. Make sure we have most of the lines down. Good, let's just file save for right now. Okay, so let's have some fun. I am going to do line here. Let's just go line here. Tapered, tapered. And I'm just seeing how. I'm okay with that. All right, so black arrow, shift. So we're grabbing both of them. Object, we're gonna drop down to blend. Let's go blend options. Object, blend, we are going to make. That actually looks pretty good. And then whenever you're doing blend, you can always go blend options. So right now I've got specific steps. And I have eight. Hit okay. Looking good. Let's do some over here too. Let's go one there. I'm just gonna hold down. Good, good. Let's go fat on both. Okay, so again, I'm holding down shift. Object blend make. All right. Well, that's kind of fun. Let's let's do some more. Why not? Why not? So I'm basically also going to do it right here. So let's go line. And you guys can totally change angles. I just want those to be as parallel as possible. Uh, I am not going to do anything with the brushes. So just object, again, blend, make. And again, just so everyone is aware, when I go blend options, it's keeping the eight. 
So that just so you guys are aware, you can go smooth color, you can change this up, you can go distance. So just be aware that you can modify how that's playing out each time. Just to give us a little more, a little more fun today. All right, I like it. File save. Let's do layer. I am going to duplicate inking. I am just going to eraser. So that's what's next. Uh, just so everyone is aware, this is what the next step is going to be. I'm going to come up here. Notice I did basically duplicate that out. I think that's a good habit to get into. I am going to come down, expand. Let's just do it again. Expand. All right. And then just so you can kind of see the, the thought process here as we're going through it, this is how we get rid of all of the overlapping. So I'm going to select it. Notice all this is still selected. I am on my eraser tool. And then anything that's popping out, I can just come through. I might, that's a different one, by the way. And I'm just getting rid of all of the overlapping. So I select the first, Shift E. Shift E is my eraser, by the way. I do think it's a little bit easier to just zoom in. But you're going to notice that I, it looks like I'm deleting both of those lines, and that's just going to pop back. So what I'm going to do, as well as you guys, is I would go through and just erase any of your overages. I do think it's a little bit easier is if you just think of, hey, what's in front? What do I want to go behind? So this arm's going to go in front. We're just going to go in any little corner that's peeking out, any shape that's peeking out. We're just going to go through and delete them. So at the next video, basically I will have completed that. Keep in mind on the Jason Secret site, the completed version is there. So if you have any questions on what should be overlapped or not overlapped, I'm going to expand just in case. Shifty. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun right there. I don't know why that was so much fun, but that was a lot of fun. All right, shoulder. But you guys get the idea. So I think this is just boring TV watching me erase stuff. So uh, I'm going to end it here. And then what you guys to do is just jump over to Astronaut Color. And then we will finish our little guy over there. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you on the next tutorial.